The long list this year is incredibly diverse in terms of the stories it tells and something we're really proud of. I think there's a mix of genre, of course, memoir and history and literary criticism, um, journalism. But more than anything else, it's also just the sheer variety of topics that the long list tackles. And I think you'll find that it strays all over the planet. Um, it strays back and forth in time. It strays in tone and register and voice. And I think even just reading these 12 books uh, that we've selected is going to be a, a really complete education in the best nonfiction of our time. I think that every single book is saying something about our, our modern condition and about really the, the very terrible place where we find ourselves in the world right now, whether it's a way of making things better or making us understand our present by looking at our past. I think that every book there is absolutely justified uh, for being on the list and yeah, has something to add to all of our lives. I would say it's a variety of subjects that is incredible, from escaping the Holocaust to a history of China, through its language, through to the Rwandan genocide from the inside. Um, it is varied, it is topical, a lot of it, um, and it's just fascinating. I really hope that the books have a very, very wide appeal. Um, there are books that feel quite small, but actually once you've read them, they're incredibly weighty and important. And there are books that look very weighty and feel very weighty in the hand, but actually once you start reading them, they're so you know, exciting and nimble and you, 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 know, you can whip through hundreds of pages in one go. I think it's a really good mix. The prospect of whittling these 12 books down to a shortlist is on one hand terrifying, but also incredibly exciting. I'm so looking forward to it.